Hello, today I'm gonna go over the assembly of the coffee grinder and the uh, motor and gearbox. Um, so it's a fairly straightforward assembly um, and I'm gonna go over it in uh, some detail. Now, first things first, we are going to line up the uh, shaft uh, keyway over here uh, with the key of the motor. Uh, and then, as that is done, there we go. We're just gonna push the motor in, just like this. Next, we are going to line up the uh, motor with these screws over here, and the switch should be pointing towards us. Now, that is about it for the, for this assembly, but there's one important thing to note here, and that's the thickness of the stand. Uh, just by, by nature of uh, sheet metal uh, tolerances, and this is considered sheet metal or a plate stand, um, the screws on the, the five radio screws uh, may uh, not always uh, align perfectly uh, with the holes. Uh, now, three of the screws are mandatory and two are optional. Usually uh, one of the on the bottom doesn't fit perfectly now obviously when we assemble these grinders we actually uh, sometimes have to remachine these holes uh, just to make sure that everything fits perfectly if you're re reassembling it with a um, with a spare or with a spare motor and motor that we have provided and if uh, all the screws don't fit perfectly that's fine you can assemble with one less or even with two less screws that's perfectly fine uh, but there are some tricks to getting them to work fairly well. Now, usually the first one that we do is the top one and we don't tighten it. So it's gonna go almost all the way in, but not tight. And then we're gonna do the bottom one on this side. And again, same process. And this one is already a little tough. Uh, but I'm gonna rock the motor back and forward to try to get it in. Uh, it's still going fairly well. And then I'm gonna flip it on the other side and uh, I'm gonna get the other screwings on the bottom and the same deal just rock it a little bit I'll tighten it all the way and the screw should go in fairly well I can also push the motor in a little bit and as you can see the stand is, is fairly uh, it's on the thin side of the tolerance so actually there is a little bit of uh, space can also push the motor in if it doesn't fit perfectly. Now I'm gonna go ahead and tighten the top screw and then tighten the, the side screws as well. There we go. And now we can actually go ahead and install these other two screws. That should be a, a fairly easy fit. Uh, but again, if one of the screws uh, on one side and if another screw on the other side doesn't fit that's perfectly fine the grinder is uh, designed to work with three screws the the five we do are just uh, extra basically uh, yeah, that's that for this assembly